Okay, uh, Packet Tracer Activity 6434 is on troubleshooting default gateway issues. Now, I have not looked at this yet. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and close this down just for the fun of it. I have not looked at this yet. I have no idea what the problem is other than I know that there are default gateway issues. So let's talk about how we would tackle a troubleshooting uh, issue here. Looking at the network documentation, I can see right here we have one network, 192.168.10. Right here, we've got a second network, 192.168.11. So I'm just going to walk through. I know somewhere there's supposed to be a problem. So we're just going to walk through and try to troubleshoot and see what we can find. So I'm going to go to PC1. I'm going to start by doing some testing here. So I'm going to go to desktop, command prompt, and I'm going to type the command ipconfig. And it tells me I have 192.168.11.10 as my IP address. 192.168.10.1 is my gateway. All right, immediately there's a problem because this network ID is different from this network ID. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is supposed to be 192.168.10.10. So let's reset that. IP config 192.168.10.10. And I'm going to guess that this one is 192.168.10.11. So let me do my IP config, make sure that I take effect. Ping 192.168.10.11. Hey, guess what? I was right. All right. Which means if that holds true, these should be 11.10 and 11.11. .11. So let's see if I can ping those. Ping 192.168.11.10. Well, that doesn't look promising, but remember the first one may time out. There we go. It picked up on the second one. That's cool. Let's see if we can ping 11.11. .11. First one may time out due to ARP. Ah, but the second one's not coming through. So Houston, we do have a problem. All right. So we know PC1 can ping PC2 and PC3 but it can't ping PC4. Let's come to PC4 and see if we can find a problem over here. So command prompt, IP config, 11.11. .11. Hey, this is a problem. Default gateway is 192.168.1.1. That's not going to work. It needs to be 11.1. .1. So let's change that to 11.1. .1. And go to our command prompt, IP config to make sure it took effect. Let's ping 192.168.11.1, and sure enough, we can hit our default gateway. Now, we couldn't ping PC1, or, uh, PC1 before. PC1 couldn't ping us. Let's see if we can ping it now. 192.168.10.10. .10. Now we can communicate back to PC1. Let's see if we can communicate to PC2, which would be 10.11. Okay, there we go. We are communicating with PC2. Let's make sure PC3 can hit both of them, and then I think we're good, and we'll check and see if we've completed everything correctly. 192.168.10.10 is replying, so that's PC1 up here on the other side of our router, and 10.11. Hey, it looks like we have communication all the way through our network. So we had a couple of misconfigured gateways. Once we got that straightened out, things, things seem to work okay. Let's take a look at our little score sheet. And, oh, wow, it says we have 15 out of 35. Well, that doesn't sound promising, although, you know, we do have communication. Um, although I do see here that we have IP addresses on our switches as well. Let's see what we have there. Let's take PC1, and we're going to ping... 192.168.10.2. That's going to be our switch MAC address. And that works, so we can connect to the switch locally. Let's see if we can ping the remote switch. Ping 192.168.11.2. First time out. Second time out. Okay, this does not look promising. 
Hmm, it really does not look promising. Let's go to switch two and see what we can find. So we'll go to our CLI, make that a little bit bigger. Yen, let's do a show run. And IP default gateway 192.168.11.1. .1. That actually looks right. Ooh, but look, VLAN interface. Interface VLAN 1 has no IP address. So let's go to config T, interface VLAN 1, and set an IP address of 192.168.11.1. It's an IP address of 255.255.255.0. Let's do an AND and show IP interface brief. And make sure it's there. VLAN 1, IP address up, up. This time, whoops. This time, let's try to ping from the switch. From the switch, let's ping our local network first, 192.168.11.10. And there we go. So request timed out and then five successes in a row. Let's try to ping 10.10. .10. That's who was trying to ping us earlier. Interesting. We cannot ping 1.168.10.10. Let's do a show run again here real quick. And our IP default gateway is 192.168.11.1. Um, I put the wrong IP address in here. That's not going to work. Config T, interface VLAN 1, IP address 192.168.11.2. Now, let's see if this will work. Ping 192.168.10.10. There we go, that works. Ping 10.11, that works. Let's ping 10.2, which would be the switch on the other end. That doesn't work. So I can ping both of these PCs, but I cannot ping this switch, which means odds are my problem is gonna be at the switch. So let me go to the switch, go to my CLI. Expand that out. And show run. Find my VLAN 1. I have an IP address of 192.168.10.2, but I do not have, I should have an IP default gateway here, and I don't. So let's do config T, IP default gateway 192.168.10.1. Now, copy run start. Ping 192.168.11.2 and now see if we can ping between the switches. Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and save our configuration on this switch real quick. Copy, run, start. Okay, so now our switches can ping everybody. So, now let's see if we have it all. Now we're sitting at score 35 out of 35. Okay, so we fixed the PCs, but we had to fix the switches as well. So, um, just walking you through real quick how I approach troubleshooting. Um, notice that we use a lot of show commands. Let's discover what the problem is. When we find a problem, let's fix it. Uh, another thing, uh, another tip to keep in mind, focus on one problem at a time. So I can't ping from PC1 over here. Well, let me fix that problem. Let me not get distracted by other things. Once you fix the problem, verify that it's fixed, then start testing and looking for other problems to go fix. All right, um, that is Packet Tracer Activity 6.4.3.4.